What are you doing? Oh, I'm just getting rid of some things I'm not going to have any use for. Did you hear about the biopsy? What did they say? Tasha had called. She had an emergency, but she promised she would call before she went home tonight. So I'm just trying to keep myself busy till the phone rings. Getting rid of some old to make room for some changes. Well, you better check the boxes. Make sure my name isn't on any of them. Mom, when you say changes, do you have anything in mind? Or... Well, my attitude, for one. I made a lot of promises when I beat cancer the first time. One was that I would make every day special. And I don't think I've accomplished that. That's not true, Monica. So maybe this is a chance for a wake-up call. Reminder of hard lessons I promised I would never forget. But somehow I have. Hey, aren't you supposed to be at a deception party, Elizabeth? Actually, I'd rather be here celebrating with my mom when she finds out her good news. I love you. Closet is done. We can start work on yours, Alan. Oh, come on. We can't spend the evening like this. Biting would be better. Fine. Let's get this Xander thing right on the table, right out. I think Mom was kidding. Emily, dear, how is work? I don't think I want to make waitressing a career. Reginald! Never mind, I'll get it. <clears throat> Besides, I want to give very big tips. Very, very big tips. You know, while she's here, Maybe we can talk some sense into her about this deviant. No! You are not to upset Emily and drive her out of this house. Not tonight, Edward. I need her here. In fact, I need my whole family. Even... Mom, I'm a visitor. At last, the prodigal returns. No thanks to you. Even though I'm in revolt against grandfather, doesn't mean I've left the family. I'm here to support you. Thank you. Thank you. You are certifiable. And I love you all. Thank you all so much for being here. You have absolutely no idea how much I need you. Has Dr. Meadows called you? Uh, no. Mm -mm. You know, I should get a camera. How many times are we all in the same room without having an argument? Well, stop <laughs> debating about the thing. Go get it. And, and just to be sure that you let Ned take the picture because you always get your thumb in the way, Alan. Once. One Christmas when I was 16, I got my thumb in the way. And what did I miss? A picture of Tracy with the worst haircut in the world. Must you mention that name in this house? Tracy, Tracy, oh, Tracy. Alan, now, Alan. don't That's do this. Tracy, no, like an what a sock in it. I haven't finished it. <laughs> you know, Tracy, I, look, Tracy. Always do this. Just you do. If you wouldn't come over here and insult me, I wouldn't be bothering you. You, you spend your life in something, and now you're it's getting it back in space. I'd have to get home here right now, living here permanently, if it hadn't been for her brother and her cousin going down to that low-rent diner, which I'm sure covers for some criminal activities and giving her money. It's a legitimate money. business, Father. And the rooms are really quite comfortable. I rather enjoyed my staying there. Sure, when Monica threw us out of our own house. It's my house. I gave it to you. And I will thank you not to lecture Emily, you overblown pompous windbag. Would you like me to answer? We don't know. Hospital, it could be anyone. Don't pick it up, Edward. Let Monica do it. Monica, call me. Yes, Dr. Minas. I'm fine. Uh, thank you, Dr. Meadows. So does this mean you have no cancer? The tumor is benign. Thank God. 
I mean, I still have to have it removed, but uh, there are no malignant cells. Oh, Monica, darling, that is wonderful news. Mm. Okay, can I tell you how awful <laughs> fight I was? Well, I was a little scared myself. Well, I gotta tell you, this has been the longest day of my life. <sighs> Do you guys want some time alone together or something? Oh, no, 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 nonsense. The whole family's here. We'll celebrate together. Yeah. What do you want, dear? Oh, actually, just what I have right here. My family. I was really working myself up to a state waiting for that phone to ring, and I... All of a sudden, I realized that all you guys had rallied around. I love you so much. That settles it. Reginald, bring some champagne so that we can toast Monica's good bill of health. Look, I have to run. I have some calls to make, but I am so happy for... Oh, thank you so much for coming over. Thank you. I should take off as well. Uh, no sense in celebrating by getting into another fight with Grandfather. Your Grandfather w won't be fighting, AJ. Isn't that right, Edward? Of course not. Why does everyone insist on painting me out to be an ogre? Because I idea. <laughs> AJ, could you... Could you just uh, stay around this once? It was a toast. And Monica, I know that I speak for the rest of the family when I tell you how thrilled I am at your wonderful news. You're, you're healthy and, and you're well and you're fit as a fiddle. <laughs> <laughs> and you know, that's, um, that's truly a, a blessing for all of us. Let's only hope that the rest of our family problems can find uh, suitable endings. Grandfather, if you start right now about Xander, I'm walking out of the house. Well said, Emily. Oh, no, 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 no. Due to the circumstances, I uh, will refrain from discussing the young man tonight. But first thing tomorrow morning, young lady. Father! All right. All right. Here's to uh, Monica's good health. And may we have many more joyous family celebrations in years to come. Thank you. <laughs>